friends, Catherine Scanlon here. Today I want to talk to you about the Brea Reese Small Coarse Roller. This is a really fun texture tool to have in your arsenal and I'm going to tell you some of the fun things about it. The roller portion is made out of a nice sponge. It's quite great quality and um, this portion right here is about an inch and three quarters. It's got a nice handle and you can use it either left-handed or right-handed. You'll see me using it left-handed today because I am a lefty. Uh, this is the one that I've been using for quite a while so you can see that it washes nicely under soap and water so you can use it again. Today I'm going to show you the traditional way to use a coarse roller and then I'm going to show you my interpretation and show you how I create a custom background for a mixed media scrapbook page. For this background technique I'm going to be using three colors of Bria Reese heavy body acrylic paint. I have ocean green, lake blue, and silver. You can get the uh, heavy body acrylics in the two ounce tubes or you can get them in these handy paint writers. I wanted to show you a, a quick tip on how to open the paint writers. Um, first, the tip here opens counterclockwise, so unscrew the nozzle, pull this portion off, and screw it back on. The traditional technique I want to share with you is this kind of dimensional textured look. You can see all the texture in there. You can see that I have three colors. I have um, started with my base coat of ocean green and then I've added the lake blue and the silver. So here is my base of ocean green. I've got a little bit of the other colors laid out right over here. So let's start with the lake blue. And I do want to roll this out a little bit to flatten it and to make it a little bit easier to apply the paint to the roller. But you can see that I've got a nice, complete application of paint on my roller. And then I'm going to just roll it across the paint. Now this lake blue, I painted uh, the base coat yesterday so that it would be completely dry and the colors would not mix with my other two layers. If you wanted to have those colors mix, you could, of course, paint that right away. See how lovely that texture is? You could go heavier with the paint in some areas. At this point, I've got the, a nice layer of lake blue. I would step aside and wash my roller, but since I happen to have another one handy, I will use that to apply the silver. But I'm going to use the same, follow the same process of applying the paint to my roller, just like this, and then I'm going to apply the silver paint over the top. Now if you feel like you may have overdone it on one color, you can go back in and add more kind of random applications of the darker color. What's great is you have this beautiful uh, background. You could do this on a wall, you could do it on any kind of a home decor piece, um, you could use it on pottery that you put plants in outside. It's a very versatile technique and you can use it with on lots of different surfaces. For this next technique, I'm going to show you how I used the two inch coarse roller to create this glittery shimmery background that I can use for an eight and a half by 11 scrapbook page. It's a fun mixed media technique and I think you're really gonna love it. For this technique, you're going to need a piece of watercolor paper. This is 140 pound paper that I have trimmed to eight and a half by 11. It's cold pressed, so that means it has a slight texture to it. You'll also need some paper towels, a palette of some sort, and a cup of clean water with a round brush. 
first thing I'm going to do is roll my paint out just to flatten it a little bit so it's not in a big blob and it's easier for me to um, quickly reach. And then I'm going to dip my roller right in the water and let some of that water drip off and then I'm going to apply the paint just as I did in the first technique right to my watercolor paper. But what's happening is the water is kind of helping to get this fun, funky application of paint on the paper. You can press in if you want. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water right to this rolled out paint and I'm going to come over and tap my paintbrush and get some darker spots here and there on the paper. It kind of settles into the rolled areas and it creates a really fun, interesting look. If you want to have more paint, just use that roller again to apply paint or if you kind of don't like what's happening, just roll it out and try again. And now you're gonna to want to let this dry. This is kind of a subtle background and it's going to create a little bit of a resist before for the next layer. Now that my base layer of silver paint is just about dry, I'm going to go in and work on the second step. For the second step, I'm using the Lake Blue paint rider and I've added a little bit to my palette over here and already added a little bit of water. I am going to go ahead and dip my roller into the water again and pick up some of the paint on my roller and then I'm going to apply that. Now I want there to be a lot of water so and I want it to be nice and washy, watercolor washes. I don't want a whole lot of um, dark color, so here's where I'm going to be a little bit freer with my color and my water. So now I want to add some of the shimmery, and I've got a tube of Bria Reese Lake Blue Glitter Ink. One of the great things about the Bria Reese line is the colors match each other across the entire line. So we have Lake Blue, acrylic paint, glitter ink, watercolor ink, and they all coordinate and look wonderful together. So you can be pretty random if you want and how that is applied to the paper. You could also use the brayer for this part to get some shimmer everywhere. So now I have a nice washy kind of random application of paint. I'm going to let this dry naturally. The first layer of silver paint, I did help it along with my hair dryer, but this time I want the paint to just kind of go where it wants to go and dry as it wants to. At this point, my base layers are just about dry. I have a couple of puddles here and there, but that's okay. I'm gonna move on to the final step. I have some black heavy body acrylic paint and some silver paint out on my palette. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water to each piece, each little bit of color. So I'm going to pick up some, a nice amount of this watered down silver paint. And I'm going to hold the brush over the paper and just gently tap it. I'm just creating this interesting bit of texture to help bring it all together. Then I'm going to do the neck the same thing with black. And this is going to just give the background just this little pop that'll bring it all together. 
You don't need a lot, just a little. It kind of creates a random design and brings it all together. And here is the base for my scrapbook page, complete and ready to go. On the left is the page that I've shown you step by step how you can create. And on the right here is the scrapbook page that I created with another sample. I've layered some lovely backgrounds from an artsy ephemera collage kit, a sweet little picture, and some elements where I brought in the lake blue to kind of tie it all together. You can see splatters of the silver paint and a little bit of brushing of ink. But this is a lovely, sweet scrapbook page created using our two inch course roller. Thanks so much for joining us and we hope you love the roller as much as we do.